since you danced? How long has it been since you fasted unto the Lord? In the word of God, it said, this woman <coughs> had an issue for 12 long years. That's too long for me. How long had you had your issue? And yet we're coming to church. We're praising God. We're worshiping the Lord. Shouting right over our issues. Coming into the house of God, dressed and made up with your issue. And when service is turned out, still got an issue. We are living in a time that shouting is not going to get it no more. We have been used to coming to church and shouting and living and not getting delivered. Not getting free, not getting healed. But we sure got a shout out. Saints of God, the season is changing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta stop shouting and praising our way through and yet not delivered. Jesus is calling for a complete deliverance regardless of how many years it's been with your issue. It said here 12 long years. I got to stay there for a minute. Because somebody up in here sitting up with an issue, you've been praying, you've been doing all you know to do, and it seems like that issue won't break from you. But I'm here to tell you today that Jesus came, that you may have life, and that you may have more abundantly. Today is your day to get free of this issue. 12 long years. 12, 12, 12 long years. How long your issue being said right now. Think in your head. How long have you struggled with that issue? It said, but no one could heal her. We go into these revivals, programs, performance, and they get no healing. We have in these conferences, crusades, but ain't no healing going on. People are coming to all sorts of program, but call a prayer meeting. Amen. How many of us will show up at prayer? All right, all right, all right. When your leader calls for prayer, it whether it's at church or on the prayer line, where are you at during that time and hour? All right, all right. With your issue. By the way, say, let me tell you what happened at church today. When the Lord already told you to come from a mind and be separated, said the Lord, and you're going to get ungodly advice when the Lord have told us to seek God and counsel. All right, all right, all right. But you say the Lord sent you to that ministry, and if he sent you to that ministry, why can't you get counsel from your pastor, whether you agree or not? I got to stick with the word. And we'll call up our friends. Because you don't like what the pastor told you. You know why we've got these issues lasting so long? Because we don't like the truth. Amen. Amen. We don't want to be told the truth. She couldn't find nobody to heal her. Spending all her money. Why waste your energy from church to church, church hopping, from friend? Why waste all your energy? When God is God and he changes not. Just like he speaks through the uh, women of God and the men of God, he'll speak through a sinner. That'll still tell you, you got to go the right way. She couldn't find nobody to heal her. It's something how when we get mad and we'll leave. And we hear about stuff going on across town because they don't know us. And we run to where they don't know us. <laughs> and still go over there and didn't get what you need, didn't get no help. Still find yourself doing the same old thing. Nobody could help her. I 
I'm sure it was so bad. She said, okay, I'll give all this in the word of God. He's a great consolator. All right, all right. But we would rather go pay to get help than to go free to the throne behind the veil. Yeah. Yes. She couldn't find nobody to help her. She couldn't find no healing out of nobody. And a lot of times when we got our issues and we run into everybody else, you know why too we're not getting delivered? Because Jesus said, he's saying, come unto me, all ye that are heavy yes, and I, I, I mean the Lord will give you rest. Which means that the doctors can't do it, your money can't do it, that man can't do it, that woman can't do it, your boyfriend, your trip, your papa daddy, your big daddy, your old man, what, your home girl, your trip, whatever you want to call her, him or that can't do it for you. When are you going to come to your senses? When are you going to say, enough is enough doing it my way? Unholy, in flesh, can't nobody tell you nothing because you know everything. You trying to tell Jesus how to do it. She came to her senses and realized I've been doing this on my own. I've been doing this by myself. I've been doing this in the flesh. I'm rebellious. I'm disobedient. How come we don't know that disobedience is witchcraft? And it tells us that in the word of God. That's the word. That's the word. That's the word. Because basically when you don't do what the word is saying, you're basically saying, Lord, I don't care what you say. I don't care what you're saying, Jesus. This woman heard about Jesus and came to herself. Yes. Ooh, I got to work with them. When we going to come to ourselves? You see the harbor we living in? You see how we African Americans are going through? How they're killing our children? When are we going to come to our sisters?
believe 12 on you, you're going to fall out and die before you get there. The enemy probably told her, it's hot. You so weak. Quit, just, just try to pray from afar. But sometimes you can't. You got to go to the throne. You have to bust in. When you're doing everything you know to do and everything you know you should be doing and you're yet not getting no results, the old folks told us to grab hold to the horns of the altar and don't let go. She was almost there. And you know, when you get almost there, seems like all oh, hell break loose. You almost to your door. And you almost to your victory. And you almost to your breakthrough. You almost to your coming out. And then your husband walk away. My God. My God. Why do you leave me? What's wrong with you? She was almost there. Almost to what you were waiting on God to do. And man, you walk in and find your wife in a bed with somebody else. While you were waiting. And the way is a difficult time. That's why you gotta be careful while you're waiting. You can't just be waiting on God, but you got to be waiting in God. Lady, you got to be careful of every move you yeah. make. You, you, you can't swing to the left, and you, you can't swing to the right. that the enemy can only do what God has allowed him to do. And if God has allowed him to do it, then we know that our Father knows that we can come out with the victory and that we win every time. So by now, she said, I'm determined. I done tried everything else. Why not try Jesus? I ain't got no more money. She walked out the door and she began her pathway up to the Savior, walking through. And I'm sure when she got up on the crowd, I'm sure again that doubt set in. Y'all remember Doubt Thomas? I can't get to Jesus. I can't get through this crowd because there's so many. That's why you got to keep your eyes on Jesus. You can't look at circumstances. You can't at what's before you. You can't look at what's going on because it'll get you off course. A lot of things come to divert us. A lot of things are a distraction. But if you keep your eyes on the side, you're going to live in So she got to the crowd. She got to the crowd. And you know how we black folks are? I'm sure she tried to walk through this crowd. And you know so much black folks, girl, to the back of the line and she tried to press through the crowd and then somebody else probably said where you think you going and she probably still tried to press through the crowd and somebody probably shouted out and said I smell something stinking but yet she tried to press through the crowd and by that time she was in the middle of the crowd to the middle. Whew. You think the middle is a bad place. But that middle is just getting ready for your deliverance. She was in the middle of that crowd. And by that time, it probably no elbow room. Hot and sweaty. She was probably running then down her legs. I'm sure the blood was dripping. But as she was in the middle, looking out to Jesus, all because Jesus is the author and the finisher of our faith. She's in the middle, and she's just a few more feet from.
from Jesus. And you know how we black folks get. We want it all for ourselves. So we know it's good. We don't want nobody to cut us in line. We don't want nobody to get in front of us. And if you cut us, we might cut you out. You know how we are. Because we know what's before us is good. And y'all looking at me like that don't happen. On the freeway, that cuss us out. Yeah. They stick that middle finger up. Yeah. You, we cut somebody off on the freeway, now they're killing you and shooting you. So, Pastor, she's almost there. Almost there. And somebody hollered out in the crowd, What's she doing out here? She's not supposed to be among us. She's sick. She's a right before God bless you. Yeah. It's always a hater wow. that's going to say, now how's she getting that? Yeah. How God doing that? Wow. Why they want her? Why she preaching today? Why she get to sing the song? Why she get on the front seat? Who said we wanted her? You know, I don't like her. Ain't that how it get? Right before the breakthrough? Right before the blessing? Right before God so now she right up on Jesus and she's looking and she's saying okay now these folks don't want me here they talking about me they pushing and seven now they're trying to cause a commotion on me and see what we got to realize sometimes when we standing up here, we might not can get it up here. So sometimes you might have to go right here to get what you need from the Son of the living God. So what she did, she got down and she began to crawl her way to the Father, to the blood of the Lamb, to Calvary, to sweet Jesus. She began to crawl her way and she said, I'm going to get through. And I believe that she was crawling.
that she came up behind him and touched him. When was the last time you touched Jesus? When was the last time you let your infirmity touch him? When was the last time you let your issue touch him? That that you addicted to. When is the last time you let that addiction touch him? When is the last time you let your sadness, your depression, your negativity touch him? Thank you. When is the last time you let your money touch him? When is, when, when? Think about that. Because we're all dealing with different things, situations. When is the last time you let it touch him? We come to church. Sometimes we don't even want to be in a church. So I say, what's the sense of coming if you don't want to be here? Amen. Because when you come to the word of God said that I was there. And that songs... Come on. I was glad when they said unto me. So if you're not coming in here with an open heart and glad, why should God do it? This woman pressed. Why aren't we pressing through all what we're dealing with and facing? Sense of God, he drug his own cross. That's it. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Drug his own cross in the heat. Uh-huh. And we trip because our lights got cut off. Come on. Say that. Say that. Not Lord. only did he drag his own cross in the heat, they beat him. Yes, he yes. put thorns. You know, you thistles, you stink in your skin. Now your skin will bleed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And when it don't go like we want it to go in the house of God, we leave the church. All right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. You want us to be? Yeah. And he went through more pain and suffering than we are today. Yeah. Why is it, saints of God? If the Lord don't give you that job or give you that salary, you give up and say that ain't God. Mm -hmm. Then we start robbing and stealing. And then we start tricking folks and trying to get money out of them. That's right. And why do we do this things? When he was beaten, he was given vinegar to drink. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine hanging on a cross in the heat, sweating? Mm -hmm. They done stuck your body. <coughs> and then you know what vinegar is. We know how strong that yes, is. Yes, it is. And then they put it in something and give it to you to drink and your throat already dry. You know that probably didn't do nothing but drop his throat even more. Right, that's right. That's right. That's it. That's it. Pain and suffering yes, so yes. that we can be free. free. Yes, yes, yes. So that we can be delivered. Yes. So that we can have a right. Yes. 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 Come on. And what you put into this is what you will get out of it. That's it. That's it. Some of us don't want to put nothing into it. Yes. For some of us, it's a religious thing. You religiously come to church every Sunday because you say you ain't got nothing else to do. You religiously go to Bible study, but you're sitting in there, but you're really not listening. You're not allowing the word to get in you, but it's bouncing off. We come to prayer. And we will not allow it to saturate our lives and our relationship with the Father. Glory, glory, glory. He went through. If we would grab a hold of that and get that, saints, he went through just like we said Martin Luther King did this for us to be free so we can have rights. Jesus did it so we can be free and be delivered. She touched him. And when she touched him, she reached out. That means she had to do something. She had to do something. Which means that the Lord don't sit back and do everything. We have to do our part. And so when she reached out and she touched him, it said immediately she was made whole. Why do we think it take God 5, 10, and 20 years to do something? Because it doesn't. The word of God said he's a right now God. Yeah. Ain't that what the song That's says? Right. He's a right now God. He's a right now God. It don't take him all night. Well, baby, I know you young, baby, but I, I could be young all day. But if this word say he's a right now God, he's the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. He's still on the throne. A lot of times the reason why I sit to 
situations are not changing is because we don't have faith. Amen. Amen. We're saying it. Oh, I believe it. I, I, yeah, God going to do it out your mouth, but yes. your heart okay. is not lining up with this word. Yes, yes, yes. He said, having a form of godliness, yes. but yes. the name yes. the power yes. 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 We got to let what we say, what we feel, yes. and what we're connected to line yes. up with the word of God. Amen. Well, now, if you say, well, sister, what you mean by that? What we say, because he told us to speak life. That's right. What we feel, we have to have faith to know that God did not already done. Yeah. And what we connected to, we only supposed to be connected to the word, word. to the true vine. That's it. Praise God. That's Praise God. Come on. So she touched him, and immediately she was made whole. Yes. So the Lord can do it immediately. If it's not being done immediately in your life, you have to ask yourself, am I really trusting him? Oh, God. And then you could be trusting him and God's still not doing it yet. You know why? Because maybe the Lord want to see, do you really mean what you All say? Right. Yes. Right. We say a lot of stuff, but then when it ain't Sunday no more, your message to change. Right. So you got a different message every day of the week. And then when it comes back to Sunday, you're trying to get back on the wagon. Come on, everybody, put your hands together. It's got to get better. All over the world, listen to these words. People come. People come. People go. People go. Your life has been, Your life has been out, of control. out of control. You're confused. You're 